Hello? It's been a while since I've actually recorded an actual video that I'm going to edit instead of doing a stream. Uh, what I want to show you today is the steps that it takes to go through and make something simple from some clip art, like a coaster. This is a project I was working on. So let's uh, find some clip art. So this is for a buddy at work. What I did was just do a Google search. Well, what I usually want, because we can't do shades, we can do multicolors with the MMU2 setup, but I can't do shading like this mushroom here. Uh, it, you can convert it, do grayscales, but you're only going to be limited to five colors. So it be, would be better to pick a simpler clip art, like let's say this one. Well, that one's fairly small, but something like that. Find your clip art that you want, and uh, then what we're going to do, we picked, uh, he picked this little guy right here. Now you notice that it's got some watermarking and other things in it. It's copyright, so be aware if you're stealing copyrighted stuff. Uh, but I've already traced it, but we're going to go through the tracing part again, and I'll show you how to, to deal with that. So. I've got that saved. What we're going to do is pop over to Inkscape. So let me get over to Inkscape here. File, open, and I'm here in my area that I was working. Uh, did I not save this? Oh, it's in the downloads of the shroom. Okay, so we open this, and basically the defaults were embedding it from the file, rendering mode, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just bring it in, and then my Inkscape freaks out because it's not on the main window. Minimize it, maximize it again, comes back. All right, so what you want to do now is use the selector arrow, pick this, go to a path, and hit trace bitmap. And it'll bring up this little guy. And you're going to adjust this. This brightness cutoff is what we want. Um, we're going to hit this update and look in this little window. And what you want to do is set the brightness cut off. Just hit update. What you want to do is get it as dark as possible. Uh, keep going up. And that changes where the black is. Let's go up until we just see some of these lines or this go graph. See that that uh, text, that watermark comes in across there? So we'll back that down. There, it just went away. So right there is where we're going to scan it. Hit OK. Now it has been traced. Um, what I'm going to do is select, select the fill to, let's make it 100% red, so that we can tell what's been traced. And now we can move this off to the side and take our original bitmap and get rid of it. Now, we've still got this little gograph.com. Double click this. It'll take you to the node selection. We can get rid of that. We could also go through and clean up any parts of the image that we don't like. The, the line thickness, because we're going to be reducing this down, you can see that it's quite, quite big on the page. <clears throat> So we might want to thicken these lines. So over here in the fill and stroke panel, stroke style, and you can select the width of the stroke. So right now it's set to black. You can see the black outline on the mushroom. And it's set to 0 0.085. Let's set that up to, let's say, a 0.4 millimeters. And what that does is, since I have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, that means that it's got an outline. It's probably going to need a little bit more than that, even. But we'll start. We'll start with that. Now, what I do notice is that it's going to merge some objects. So, like this dot here will be part of the outline around here. So they'll all have to be the same color. May or may not be what you want. We can leave them 
separate colors and it should work when we pull it into Fusion 360 and we can pick what we want to extrude um, separately from everything. Let's shrink him down. So control shift and grab one of the corners and let's shrink him down to kind of where we want. We'll get the circle tool and I'm going to pick view and turn on the page grid. There we go. All right, so now snap, snap to grid over on the right-hand side. There's a little grid here. That's on. Uh, we're going to go to the corner of the page because that's zero, zero. And we're going to stretch a circle. See, so scale. We can change that to millimeters. So we want to change this to scale proportionally. We want this to be 130 millimeters in diameter. Apply that. All right. Um, let's take that and object lower to bottom. Okay. And let's zoom back in so we can get our mushroom fella. And him, we can control shift, grab his corner. And we don't want him as big. Um, we're going to put in some other circles here, but we'll kind of center him up, get him kind of close to where we want him. So we're going to have some text around the outside. Let's take another circle. And now I can't see my page, but that's all right. Uh, control shift. Let's drag out another circle. And then we want a line and distribute. We'll shift and click this circle. We'll center them like that. And then it's uh, grab this and page down. And that'll push it down back behind that. So that right now is just for, for text. So we're going to put in the uh, text name of his school. And it's not, we're going to put it in all caps. And we'll go. Now we'll highlight that and give it some font and size. Let's go Gentium. Uh, hit apply. Whoops. Yeah, it's there. Let's hit apply on that. Do this one as well. Apply there. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to the top text. We're going to select our circle. So shift click text, uh, put on a path. Now it puts it whatever angle it does. So we're going to reselect it and double click it. And it gives you this center point. Move that center point up to eh, about where that guy was, the middle of there. And we're going to rotate it around. And you can see the box stretches so you can kind of see how it, yeah, there. Snapped it right into place. And we're going to change this. We're going to change the fill to nothing. Change the stroke, zero. Okay. So now you got the curve, but you don't have the text to interact with. Then this alumni, we're going to shift. We need another path. Let's, oh, point four. Okay, so now we can kind of see our circle. All right, let's get that. It's too big. So what I'm trying to do is get it so that it kind of fits 
inside a little bit of ways away from the outer border. All right, and then what you've got to do is go to object and make it a path, object to path. So now once it's a path, I can use the node tool and we break it right there and right over here because the text won't fit to the inside of a circle. Uh, put on path and then path reverse. So now it's on the inside. And now we can do our trick with the centers there. Move our center out to here. And then swing it around. Yeah. So now you've got your text on the background with your little mushroom. And the rest of it we can do in um, Fusion 360. So what I'm going to do is I am going to turn off the fill and stroke. And then we're going to change the fill to nothing. All right. So now we've got our text ranged in a circle. I'm sure that you can do this in Fusion 360, but I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, we're going to save this. So it's going to be an SVG. We'll save that. All right, let's go into Fusion 360 now, which I got open back here. I'm going to create a new project. So first thing I always do, create a new component. Uh, we'll just call this the coaster. Um, we're going to insert an SVG on the base plane. Go here to select the SVG file. Go to downloads. Go to sputter. Natural high coaster open. And putting it right there, that's fine. Uh, oh, notice one thing. It didn't bring in the text. So let's cancel that. Let's go back to Inkscape. Because I forgot to do one thing. File. Open recent. Eh. So the one thing I forgot to do was take our text object to path there. So take your uh, text and convert it to a path. Let's save that again. All right, we won't close it. Let's go here. Insert SVG. Pick our natural high coaster. Now we've got our text, say OK. And uh, it came in with various circles and whatever. So uh, some of these circles I don't need. So like this one, because it's a broken circle. And we'll put in our own circle here. We'll leave the outer circle. That's fine. And you notice that this came in okay. It's all separated. So we've got a, a outline here. Let's put in the circle that we need for the border and the um, rim. So this, this coaster will be about 4.6 millimeters thick. And around the outside edge, we'll have a little raised rib so let's offset this make that a point eight millimeters that we're going to offset that 
then pick the outside again and offset again and we want that to have a nice doesn't have to be equal but eh, we'll make it a little fatter like that um, so let's pick the text and we know our our base um, so we're going to have a one millimeter base from so from zero to one it's going to be a flat base for the back of the the bottom of the coaster from two to three is going to be the background layer that the mushroom is imprinted to uh, three to four will be the background ring for the text to be a different color and then uh, three to four will be the ring that I've got highlighted here with the text depressed into it and then this outer ring will go up to 4.6 so let's uh, make this a profile plane offset plane and we're going to offset it three millimeters okay and we're going to extrude it up one millimeter so there's whoops almost the text hey come back okay okay so there's the text So now what we want to do is we want to extrude again, but we need our sketch on. Now let's turn this body off. Let's turn all the bodies off. Go like this. Go like that. There we go. Okay. So what this will give us is the layer for the um, mushroom to be extruded into. So this is going to be an offset plane and it's going to be one millimeter. Actually we can do the the bottom and the other plane. So let's make it the profile plane and let's make it two millimeters thick. So that'll give us the base. The base two millimeters and the other one and then we want the ring so let's go um, extrude again we're going to select everybody we're going to drop out this and i screwed up the previous one we don't want this outer ring Are deselecting so this will give us the ring below the text make sure what I got selected and I gotta let it update okay we're getting there we want that and we want that and we want that nope okay so this is going to be an offset plane And the offset is going to be two millimeters and it's going to be one millimeter oh well that's fine it's given us the warning saying that we're not 
creating a visible object. Uh, there's our visible objects. So we've got, yeah, I got to go back to this one. Wait for it to think about it. And I don't want that outer rim. Okay, so we've got our text, we've got our base plate. Um, now what we want to do is impress the um, mushroom into the into this background. Okay, so we're going to do another extrude. Um, let's turn these bodies off for right now. So what we want is this outline, his little polka dots, his eyebrows. Eyeballs, the border for his mouth. I'm going to make that a solid eyeball. All right, like that. Yes. Okay, it's going to be offset plane and it's going to be three millimeters. And then I got to figure out which body I want to cut. I think it's that one. Yes. So body eight. Um, we're going to push it down in. Uh, minus one. Just a millimeter. Doesn't have to be a millimeter, but that's what we're doing. And we don't want to join, we want to cut. Objects to cut. Oh, two millimeters, sorry, sorry. There we go. Objects to cut, body eight. Okay, say okay. Say okay. Oop. So now we've got our little mushroom guy into body eight. Just like that. So that kind of gives you a nice uh, coaster. It's got a flat bottom, but it's got a recess in it. So any of your, your sweat that comes off your cup will go down into the little uh, outline of the the mushroom and the one thing we need to do is slice this body eight uh, it's been cut into a couple pieces so we do have we do have this is a separate body from this the outside so the last thing to do is extrude this rim up. So let's go do that. So extrude. Oops. Turn that off. Extrude that little rim. Uh, 4.6. So that now it's got a little bit of a, a lip up at the top there. Okay, and we're done with that part of it. Let's uh, modify and put a chamfer along this bottom edge, and we're going to make it one millimeter. And then we're going to modify and put a chamfer on the inside edge of 0.2, just a little bit. Oops. Select this and the, the control this one and so that gives it a little bit of a rounded edge uh, we can do this again i'm going to hit control and chamfer that one 
as well. Uh, that will give it a nice soft feel. So it's not such a, I mean, it's not going to be real rough anyway, but uh, that looks pretty good, right? So now we're ready to go into Slicer and see what we get. So let me uh, basically just right click here and save as STL. We're going to save it. Okay. Download Sputter. Let's save it as Nat High Coaster. Save. And let's go to Slicer. Minimize that. Fire up Slicer. Slicer onto the screen. Okay. Uh, we're setting it up for. The right printer. Let's make sure that we're on the right printer. So OPI three MMU two, and this is where I always mess up. So my filament settings are. I want to pick that one, but then on the plater or platter, however you want to say it, I want to make sure that I pick the right filaments here and I don't have the color set up so it's going to be whatever they are and print settings we're going to pick that one okay now we're going to add our STL open um, and you notice it came in okay let's look at the scale on this Scale to size uniformly. It's 127.03. There we go. So that reduced some things a little bit. Let's add one more. Come on. I have to be on the right one. Oh. There they are. Uh, Let's go. There we go. Let's arrange those. All right. There they are. We can put the purge block down here and then right click on it or double click on it. And click on that. Say split part. All right. So you see that it did not do our bodies. We've got one solid body and a bunch of little separate pieces that don't go through. So what what the heck happened? Okay, let's go back to uh, Fusion 360. Here we have a bunch of bodies. So that's body, body, okay. Body. Somewhere one of my one of my extrudes must have gone wrong. Okay, so that says new body. That one says new body. That one says new body. Join. That's what happened. New body. Okay. So this chamfer it didn't like that because that's only 0.8 millimeters wide. So let's change that to 0.8. That's fine. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Now let's see. We've got that body. We got that body. We've 
at that background piece as a body. Yep, okay, so we need to do another extrude. So let's roll this back. So we did that one first. We did this one second. So let's make, let's change this. We're going to make this one millimeter. And then we are going to turn off the bodies and we're going to do another extrude. Pick all of this stuff. except for this little rim. I'm going to make it from an offset plane that is one millimeter. And we're going to extrude it one millimeter and make it a new body. Okay, now we can turn this back on. Hopefully it won't crash here. And roll back forward. That's the this is the text. So this one should be cut in body eleven. Okay, there we go. That made a whole bunch more bodies, yes, because we should have. Right, his teeth, you can see them highlighting as I scroll up through here. So we should have all these separate things that we can color. So let's rename this to what we want to export it as, net underscore high coaster. And let's export that STL. That's done. Let's go back here and delete all, add, open. And you notice it didn't, uh, we'll resize this. 103. Let's go in and split this part. Hey, that looks a lot better. So now you can pick, let's say this, and we'll pick uh, five, because that's black. That gives us the black text back there. Let's pick two here, because that's white. Let's pick uh, one there, for whatever reason. I don't know what colors these are gonna be, but uh, one, one, so we're, we're colorizing this, say okay, I, and then we go change up here, change this to red, all right, so there's your, there's your mushroom coaster, with your little guy, let's uh, and arrange that. And let's slice it. Doop. Now, uh, it's not quite what I want because I know that the silver when you print the silver, it does not look so great. Oh. 
let's uh, let me go back. Oh no, that is white. Okay. All right. Well, that looks okay. Uh, the silver, see, it's got a, a horizontal infill pattern, and I've changed the in the fill to be horizontal lines instead of at a forty-five. I see some dots here. Uh, that probably won't come out like that, but it might have a little bit of show through, but it'll still be okay. But what we want to do is change this so that uh, this part of the model, this background part of the model, has a different infill pattern. So we hit plus, and we go to infill, and go to top bottom fill pattern on that, and change that to Hilbert curve. Silver looks really, really good with a Hilbert curve. It takes a long time to do, but um, but you can vary different sections. If you were printing the, the cap or the his face with a silver or some of those silky filaments, that Hilbert curve looks really good for the, the fill pattern. So then we say, okay, and let's go back and re-slice it. And now when you look at the preview, you can see that little Hilbert curve in there uh, doing its thing. So just a tip on how to change your models and make them look better. Uh, that should look pretty good. So they'll end up with black bottoms, the silver rim, um, you know, this this black on the mushroom will show through. Now, if I wanted that to be a different color, I could do that, you know, make that white or make it silver, whatever, but the border looks good in black. And so I think I'll leave it that way. Uh, if you wanted to have those different, we'd have to go back in to Fusion 360 and extrude those up as a separate layer and not do them as a cutout. Let's go do that real quick. So go back into Fusion 360 and we're going to go back a little bit and we're going to do another extrude and we're going to just hide the bodies for right now. So the only problem becomes that we cannot get these outer ones done, right? We can do these three because they're separate, but this outline one we can't do. So we'd have to go in and edit our, our first sketch. So let's go back and do that. Let's do an offset of this and bring it in until it just kind of kisses those. And then, then we'll hit trim and get rid of all the, the little bits that we don't really need. Okay. So now we're stopping the sketch. Now we're going to do another extrude. And we're going to pick only, whoops. Uh, going to pick only the dots. And this is from an offset plane, one millimeter, and it's going to be one millimeter. Oops. Ah. And it made a new body. Okay, let's turn on the bodies. All right, so now, yeah, those should be separate dots. Try that again. All right. Now let's go delete all, add. Let's 
split part. There we go. Now the dots are so you can see that they're there. We'll set them all to two. I think so. Now we'd have to go to this part and infill top bottom Hilbert curve and we're good and now we can go scale to size uniformly 103 add two more arrange them and slice Okay, we've got our bevel on the bottom, we've got our lip, lettering looks right, got our correct Hilbert curve infill, looks all good. Let's save the G-code. Certainly. All right, and uh, that's how you make a coaster with some fiddling and back and forth. So maybe it'll help somebody, maybe not. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.